If you're watching this, you probably got the same problem as me. Uh, you've got a Toyota that the intermittent wipers have stopped working. Um, and when you turn the wipers on, uh, they start going. And when you turn them off, they just kind of stop wherever they are. Um, I tried watching some YouTube videos and going on the internet and someone's starting to talk about a wiper relay inside the uh, stock on the steering column and I ordered two of those and I replaced them. It's not a bad replacement, but it didn't fix it. And so I started reading some more and found out that the wiper control module uh, needs to be replaced. It is kind of a pain getting it out. There's instructions out there on how to take it out. Uh, but I had ordered one off of the old eBay, uh, saved a lot of money, but when I got the used part, it didn't work either. And I thought, oh man, now I gotta troubleshoot this problem. Well, find out that there's a design problem with these control modules. And I'm gonna show you what it is. Um, I don't know if there's a way to fix it. If somebody's really crafty uh, and knows how to fix it, then you'll be able to try to tackle it. But personally, I know now you can check whether or not these control modules are faulty just by popping a cover off and checking inside before you actually buy one or walk away from a junkyard with one. So let me flip the camera around here. Completely removed. And what you're gonna see is, this is the new one I ordered and I had popped that open. Here's my old one. And you're gonna notice there's a little assembly right inside here. Well, when I popped it open, I found this little piece just laying right inside there. So I thought that was unusual. Well, it turns out that this little guy is actually a part of this right there. And that bends back and forth and eventually snaps off. And so this little piece normally will rest. Let's see if I can get it back in there the way it's kind of supposed to go. It's supposed to go like that. And obviously there's a defect to it and it just snaps right off right there. So there's your defect. This little guy spins back and forth, actuates that, turns a little switch inside there. So if you know that you're going to pop this guy off, you can check. And if you see that little thing is not there, then your Toyota module, which is part number... 24011962 is defective. And let me show you on the back here. Mine for the 2001 Avalon is part number, Toyota part number 85010070010. And you're going to notice that Toyota has updated the part number to 07030. So there's been obviously a update to it. You might be able to look for that as a newer part number. Um, this one was made in 02, which is the used one I got. Um, who knows when my old one was made, obviously in 2000. Uh, but brand new, these things are 200, over $200. I think it's $235, $4 or something like that. Uh, that's ridiculous. So uh, just to get your intermittent wipers to work. So at least the used ones, they're going to be a lot cheaper. Um, hope that helps somebody out there save a little bit of time because I know I'm going to have to go through and get a new one of these and wait for the shipping on it, which is not a big deal. But if you're going to drive your car around, you got to have this assembly back out. So if you're going to have wipers, you're going to have to put the assembly back in. Just a big pain in the butt. So help, hope this saves somebody some time. Thanks, guys.